what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black and black and black and black sales 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 black sales um yes sir we're beginning the final season of black sales um season four um it's been a journey so far man In experiencing one of the best written stories that i've ever you know watched to be honest i don't know if some of you guys are wondering why do i have this thing on my head um you know it's not a turban <laughs> okay all right i'm just trying to keep my hair moisturized okay right now i'm doing some deep conditioning to my hair because i want my hair to grow faster so trying to take care of my hair so my girl is giving me some tips and to through various research you know I have come to terms with how to do this thing uh, hopefully it works out well I want my hair to grow fast enough where you know maybe five to six months from now I can actually get my hair in a ponytail because I just I'm tired of going to the barber and I'm tired of cutting my hair myself <laughs> I'm telling you the honest truth. That's the reason why I'm choosing to do this because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I think this way, in this way, I know that I'm not trying to get weave or anything off the sword. I think that taking care of your own hair is actually cheaper than actually going out and spending 20 to 30 dollars every two weeks to cut your hair. Now, um, when I do you know get to that point then i would probably have to start going back to the barber again to get you know little little stuff or we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes but at least now i can prepare and put it in my budget but in any case that's not what we're here for i just wanted you to know that your boy is not converted or, <laughs> or anything like that because i know i put this on I look like I'm straight out of the Middle East, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the beard and everything, I'm out here looking weird, <laughs> okay? But in any case, guys, um, let's jump into season four, man. Last season was great. If you want to see what my review is, go and check out my last video, um, of course, and you will see what my thoughts were, are, you know, experiencing vain, sacrificing himself for the cause, you know um flint you know the defeat sending the english running and oh boy how are they going to respond is the english going to now join forces with the spanish to get their gold back you know the spanish want that gold back they've got most of it back but there's still that tiny little piece there that um we took back from the governor um as i said this season is going to be weird because I don't like Eleanor's character anymore. Um, I don't like her character anymore. Like, she's a great character in the story because, you know, I don't think she'll ever come back over to, to our side. I think she's fully gone over there because she's falling in love with the governor. <laughs> I can't stand her now, you know. Um, and it just goes to show you, man, that, you know, in some ways she's now become what her father was which is just this scared I, I i held eleanor in higher regards than what she is now man for her to hang freaking vain like that and then just leave him out there that wasn't right man so i can't wait to see what they're going to do this season of course um in this final season they should go out with a bang um so we'll see how it goes anyways guys thank you guys so much i appreciate all you guys that have actually signed up for early access to watch this show early because you guys are like four episodes ahead of everybody else every time so um hopefully you guys stick around after we finish this season of course and keep supporting the channel um but if you just did it for this then that's okay too um you know uh so let's jump in man D dump, let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review all 
all right so the thing that i like the most about this series is i'm about to go wash my hair out but the thing that i like about this series is that our uh, first episode you know what i'm saying kind of got me a little bit because i thought it was really going to kill off john but you know we're back in business i don't know who that guy is that found him talking about welcome home i thought it was the, the bearded dude english soldier guy um that was you know walking killing the rest of dudes on the on the beach i don't know why um i don't know who this guy is hopefully it's somebody good and not somebody you know um that is you know bad or whatever but all right first of all let's talk about governor and eleanor okay he's crying about death about debt with his his peoples back home because he decided to end his marriage right and he had a bunch of money that he borrowed to 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 um to fuel this entire operation of going to nasa and doing this like he borrowed a lot of money right so i didn't know that back in the day today i don't think so i think you can i don't think you, you go to you don't go to jail for that life but it's like it seems like it's like a, a serious situation when you owe money and then you can't pay it back if, if those debts are called upon you know um it seems like it's a serious serious issue you know um like a fugitive from from the law or why would they consider it a, him a fugitive because maybe it's because he's in another country maybe that's maybe that's why um but nobody told you to end things with your wife that was a stupid thing to do you had a wife you went out and fell in love with eleanor and now you're facing i don't feel sorry for you <laughs> i don't feel sorry for you you know what i'm saying because this is this is the kind of trifling stuff that people do all the time and then they expect pity i don't pity you my my guy for right i hope they hold you accountable for all those damn, all that damn money that you can't pay back right now because you decided to do to do all this with good intentions mind you he did this with good intentions so i'm not holding him accountable for that he did it he, he wanted to to really help the island but um the problem is that when you start to do things that you know the end of season three there um like it, 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 there was no amicable way for this to end for for yeah i hope i hope this is probably the first time i'm gonna say this but i hope that they kill eleanor i want her to die <laughs> by the end of, i want her to die by the end of the uh, by the end of this series she needs to die um i hope that because of that conversation that governor had with max that max finally makes up her man to get back to where she needs to be she belongs with us she be she belongs she needs to be with us okay she needs to be with us so i'm looking forward to that but um hopefully that's what happens so the situation that i you know i i spoke extensively about in the it, it, um between billy and flint spoke extensively about it and touching that a little bit um too when it comes on to that dynamic i really do understand both of their perspective but i'm still gonna go with my guy flint because you're talking about three seasons of you know what i'm saying of all these years that he has been and he he's not as i said he's not always um he doesn't always makes the best decisions you know what i'm saying um he doesn't always makes the best decisions but in the end for some reason it always works out for him you know what i'm saying other than the fact that he loses people along the way that might be you could you could arguably say that he should not have lost and it's because of his decisions but in the end the end result of it all has always been something favorable you know what i'm saying um so for billy to be like this towards flint i wasn't feeling that i wasn't feeling that there's still a hierarchy there is a table and now we got blackbeard 
I know we got Teach um, plotting stuff behind everybody trying to get Eleanor. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you give me Eleanor, you know, I'll come over to your side. Oh, whatever the situation is, war is all but over. So there's that going on. And it seems like this is something that, um, that Anne overheard. And now she's telling Jack what it is. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me back up a little bit. So I don't know what they're going to do next. You know, uh, but they've lost ships. Um, I don't know if I really like Maddie's character. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know if I like her character that much. Like, I don't think she's... Um, I don't think I like her character that much. I'm just be honest. Like, I, don't, I, I think... You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, I, I was like, you guys already know. If you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know how I feel about women whispering in men's ears stuff like this. Like, I don't like how she was telling John, oh, you don't need Flint and all of this other stuff. It's like, who are you to tell me I don't need my friends? Like, in my opinion, Flint needs John. John needs Flint. So who are you to tell me I don't need him? And I, the thing about it is, like, I've been in those, I've been in those situations before. I can't tell the, the amount of time that, you know, when I was married, that my, my ex-wife, you know, she would tell me who and who and who I was supposed to be friends with. Like, I can't tell you the, the amount of time. I, it, it's, it, it's the amount of time that she's tell me that. I mean, I've, I, I've turned away from my own family members like immediate family members because of her i hate it so much because i realized how stupid it was that i went along with it you get what i'm saying so i don't like to hear women whispering in men's ear oh you don't need this you don't need it you can't, how are you supposed to influence people to be to to just be alone and just depend on you your bum ass like stop you know what I'm saying? Stop. I don't like it. So I'm glad that, you know, I, um, the group got his ear cut off. You know, hopefully they don't hang too much of them. Hopefully they can retrieve some of these men, man, because it's going to be a tight battle. It's going to be a ridiculously fast-paced season. I can see that already. Um, so I'm going to go watch the next episode. I don't know what you guys are going to do. You guys are probably not going to see this episode, the next one for a long time, but <laughs> I'm moving on. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. I'm out. Peace.